and gas prices around the state have raised some concern for commuters. WVUA 23's Karis Harmon joins us live with more. Yes, Kayla, gas prices are high, and it has Alabamians wondering when those prices will drop. In Alabama, the average price for gas is $2.82 per gallon. While this number may seem high for our state, Patrick DeHaan, head of patrol and analysis at Gas Buddy, says gas prices have been steady for the past few months, and he says he doesn't see prices significantly increasing anytime soon. I think we're close to seeing a peak in prices. Uh, certainly part of me feels like we will not go much higher uh, over the next couple of weeks. And I think by, by Labor Day and into September, we will see prices starting uh, to go the other way. After Labor Day, gas prices typically decline. But because people are starting to get back into their normal commutes, it may take us a little bit longer for prices to go back to the mid $2 range. DeHaan says because COVID has kept people from returning to work in person, the demand for gas has dropped. But now with businesses opening back up, the demand could increase. After Labor Day, um, people get back into their routine. Summer vacations are over. The kids are back at school. But this year, we could see a return to the commute that we haven't seen for quite some time. So that increase in demand from a return to commutes may offset the drop in seasonal demand. There's a small potential that we may not see as much of a decline, uh, but I would maintain that potentially sometime here uh, later this year and into uh, into the winter, we would see price in Alabama then uh, recede back to the mid two dollar gallon range from today's two eighty two level. DeHaan says a surge in COVID cases could hinder the reopening of businesses and could lead to the demand for gas to drop, causing a reduction in gas prices. Reporting live, Karis Harmon, WVUA twenty three News.